Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Launch Free campaign, we go about trying to fix a certain issue. The issue at hand here is that I have a certain Samsung M51 and I am trying to connect it to my PC but the mobile phone is not being detected and therefore I am not able to transfer files. Now if this is something that you are facing, let's look at certain troubleshooting solutions. Now please do understand that one of the solutions may be that the cable is not properly fixed. So just check whether like you have to establish a tight connection and maybe if you do that and you will see that the phone has started being detected. Now this may not always be the fix and what you can do is that if you have certain different USB points slots try changing the different USB slot and maybe changing a different USB slot can also help because not all USB slots are meant for data transfer. So like simply changing the USB slot can also help try doing that as well. Now if this doesn't work, what I recommend is changing the USB cable itself. So basically what happens is not all the cables that you have with your phone are meant for data transfer. So just go head towards Amazon and find a data cable, a data USB cable, which means that the USB cable is capable of transferring data as well. So go ahead and buy such a cable and once you buy such a cable, go ahead and change the USB data cable and then maybe things will work. So we'll try now using a different data cable and hopefully things will be working. So once I put this and you will see that now since I have put a data cable, data USB cable, the phone is getting detected. So trying to change the cable can also help, especially if the cable that you were using earlier was only meant for charging the device and was not meant for data transfer. Now on the phone itself, I would advise turning on data transfer when USB is plugged in doing the following things. What you will do is head towards your settings, head to about phone, tap on software information and then tap on build number several times until the developer option is turned on. So once it says the developer option has been installed, head towards your settings, scroll down until you see developer options. Now here, scroll down until you see a certain thing that says default USB configuration. So tap on this and here you will see there are different options. So you need to enable this transferring of files. So this will now ensure that like any time there is a USB available and it's tethered or connected to your phone using a USB cable, then you will be in a position to transfer files. So please turn this to on if there is no selection made, turn it to transferring of files. So hopefully doing this will also help. Now let's look at what you can do from the system side to ensure that the device is being detected. So let's go there. Now if the phone has been connected to the PC using a compatible data USB cable, then once you open my PC, you will not only see your phone, but you will also see whatever it contains and all those contents will be available here. Like I said, while enabling developer options, ensure that the USB tethering allows for transferring of data. So select that option. But what if the phone is not being detected? If the phone itself is not being detected, then when you click on my PC, the phone will not show here. So what you can do in such a case is update the device drivers. That is, you will be helping your PC find compatible drivers to identify your smartphone. For doing this, click on PC and then tap on manage. You need to head towards device manager. So you now need to go to device manager. Now here, like you will see quite few many things. So one is portable device, one is other device. So here under portable device, you can see Galaxy M51 is being recognized. So since this is being recognized, it doesn't show a yellow question mark. But if it shows a yellow question mark, what it means is that the device is not quite correctly recognized or maybe there is not a compatible driver. So right click on this and then tap on update driver. Don't worry, you don't have to go somewhere and like get a driver. It's already available on your computer. So you need to tap on browse my computer for drivers. Automatically it will be found on your documents. So like you need to click on next and there you go. The best drivers for your device are already installed. So again, I will show it to you. So you can simply click on next like that. Otherwise, like if you know where the location is, you can also go ahead and like, you know, click on browse and other things, or you can select 
let me pick and if you do this you will see there is there will be a variety of options but select mtp usb drive and then click on next and you will see the drivers will be successfully updated and once the device gets successfully updated or the drivers get successfully updated this will pick up so i will just show this again so like you need to head towards the device if it's not recognized click on update driver click on browse my device then let me pick then once you click on let me pick there may be a variety of option coming select mtp usb device and then click on next and you will see that it will successfully update driver and your device will get recognized and card and phone means the sd card memory and the phone memory and this is for my galaxy m51 so in my pc this device is not only being recognized but also now in a position to access data and then transfer it from within to my computer from computer to the phone do anything with it so hopefully this helps if today's tutorial is helpful kindly consider subscribing click on the bell icon to get notifications your super thanks mean the world to me because any type of donations help us continue with the good work and please do share this with your friends so changing perhaps the usb data cable because not all cables are meant for transferring of data changing the usb slot so if there are two three slots change the slot and see whether that helps updating the phone drivers so updating the drivers so that the phone is recognized by the pc and then also in the developer options enabling usb tethering so that if there is a usb connection it allows for transferring of data so go ahead and do all of this and let me know whether this helps in your android getting detected by your pc thank you so much until next time it's me amran signing off